The Erosion Control Technology Council presents RECP installation for a shoreline application. First step, lower the water line. Some projects may require that you lower the water line in order to install the rolled erosion control product. If required, lower the water line as your first step. Once the water line is lowered, you're ready to move on to step two. Step two, shoreline preparation. The next step is to prepare and properly grade the site. It's important that the site is properly prepared before laying down any rolled erosion control products. Grade the site to a smooth profile, ensuring that it's free from any large clods, gullies, rivulets, and debris, such as large stones, roots, or sticks. Fill any voids and make sure that the site is properly compacted. Site preparation can be done either by hand or machine. Once the site is prepared, you can move on to step three. Step three, seed and soil amendments. The next step is to seed the area. However, before applying seed, be sure to use proper soil amendment practices. Always match your seed to site conditions. This allows for optimum germination, root system development, vegetation density, and long-term functionality. Seed selection may also vary based on the water conditions expected immediately after installation. Also, seed type planted above the expected water line may differ from the seed type planted below the expected water line. Once you have the seed down, move on to step four. Step four, dig the anchor trench. Before the product can be unrolled, it must be anchored to the top of the slope. An anchor trench is used whenever there is the possibility of overland flow. Overland flow is runoff that is coming from an upland source. If there is overland flow and an anchor trench is not used, water may get underneath the RECP, causing erosion underneath the product. Preparation of an anchor trench involves digging a trench six inches deep by six inches wide. Dug by hand or using a machine, the anchor trench should be located three feet back from the crest of the slope. Once the anchor trench is dug, you are ready to place the product. Step five, product placement. The RECP now needs to be placed in the anchor trench. Product placement should start 12 inches back from the anchor trench. Once the product is placed in the trench, securely staple the product to the bottom of the trench using a staple or stake every 12 inches. After securing the product, backfill the anchor trench and compact the soil. Be sure to place seed over the compacted soil. The next step is to fold the product over the compacted anchor trench. Anchor the folded product by stapling or staking between the anchor trench and the crest of the slope on 12 inch centers. The RECP is now ready to be rolled down the slope. Step six, unroll the product. With the RECP anchored at the top, it can now be unrolled down the slope. Unroll the product by hand, ensuring that there is intimate contact between the product and the soil. Walk the product backwards down the slope, guiding it as you go. You do not want to kick or let the product roll down unaided, as this can cause damage and pull it out of its anchor trench. Overlapping edges. When laying rolled erosion control products beside one another down a slope, overlap the product edges by four inches and secure using staples. The ECTC recommends that you follow the manufacturer's guidelines when overlapping product. Step seven, secure the product. The next step is to secure the unrolled RECP to the slope. A typical installation requires one staple every three to five feet vertically, staggered every 18 to 24 inches horizontally across the product. The steeper the slope, the more staples needed. Staples can be applied either by hand or mechanically using a staple gun. The ECTC recommends that you follow the manufacturer's recommended staple pattern. Step nine, toe anchoring. The final step is to anchor the toe of the rolled erosion control product. To anchor the toe, dig an anchor trench two feet past the toe of the slope. The trench should be six inches wide, 12 inches deep. 
Often this trench will be located beneath the current waterline. Secure the product to the bottom of the trench using one stapler stake every foot. Once the securing devices are in, backfill and compact the trench. Some manufacturers may recommend slightly different tow anchoring methods. Always be sure to consult manufacturer's recommended instructions. With the tow secured, the rolled erosion control product is now successfully installed. Turf reinforcement mats requiring soil filling. The method just described works for degradable erosion control blankets and turf reinforcement mats that do not require soil filling. If soil filling is required, the basic installation steps remain the same. However, there is some change to the sequence of installation. For TRMs requiring soil filling, the first step is to grade and prepare the soil surface. The next step is to install the turf reinforcement mat as previously described. The third step is to place seed over the TRM. Finally, with the seed down, cover the turf reinforcement mat with soil and consider a degradable RECP to cover the bare soil and accelerate vegetative establishment. Once fully covered, the TRM is successfully installed. That concludes RECP shoreline installation. We hope you've enjoyed this video. For additional information, contact the ECTC at ectc.org or contact the product manufacturer. Thanks for watching.